What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today's gonna to be a really short video. I'm just gonna take you through this new kit that Bits Power sent out to me. So massive thank you to Bits Power again. Um, this is probably the third or fourth component they've sent out to me now, so I'm, I'm absolutely made up over this. Uh, again, thank you for that. Um, so all I'm gonna to do today is basically unbox this and give you a view, uh, an overview as to what's, in, what's included in the kit. This is a uh, soft tube water cooling kit with a CPU, um, CPU block, radiator, fans, and tubing, and obviously coolant and stuff like that. Um, to get you going to basically call your CPU. I've got the AMD kit and um, there's also an Intel kit in, uh, available as well. So if, you want to, if you've got an Intel CPU, then there's also a kit available for that. Um, I'll put some links down in the description below so you can see more about this kit and where to buy it and things like that. Um, but let's get into it and just show you what's, uh, what comes in the box. <music> Right, so as mentioned in the intro, this is the Bits Power Sorbet Soft Tube Kit for AMD. Again, like I mentioned, it comes in an Intel variant as well. And from the box straight away, it looks absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to uh, actually get to use this. Um, but I'm just going to take you through it today, see what you get with it. It is uh, compatible with all your major. It's compatible with all your major uh, ARGB softwares, so your MSI, Gigabytes, Polychrome. Asus, everything like that, and even Razer Chroma. Um, so that's nice to see. Um, we'll have a quick look on the back so we can actually tell you exactly what you get in it, and then we'll obviously show you how good it looks inside. Um, so this is basically the contents list. Everything you get, you get a CPU water block, again for AMD, this one, uh, Intel available. You get uh, tubing, so you get uh, three, three eighth inch uh, tubing. With this, it is soft tubing. Um, don't know if they do a hard tube kit or not, um, but again, I'll link you to Bits Power so you can have a look through their stuff. Um, you get a pump reservoir combo. You get a 240 millimeter, uh, 30 mil uh, thick radiator. Um, it'll be a copper radiator, and you get uh, in fans included, and obviously all the mounting brackets to put that on there. And then in terms of your fittings and accessories, you get your compression fittings, you get six of those, which is enough to do what's included in this box, obviously. Uh, you get a stop fit to stop any ports off that you want to. Um, you get a rotary extender extension, extender fitting, um, so you can put that on there and you can have that sort of twist around. You get a water exhaust fitting, which is absolutely amazing to see. So basically you can put a, a drain port into your system straight away. You don't have to buy an extra. Um, I definitely recommend putting one of those into a water cooler loop. It just makes maintenance and draining it a lot, a lot easier. You get an air exhaust fitting, which you pop on top of the radiator to release any uh, over pressure in terms of air in it. And you also get one uh, 90 degree extender, which uh, I suppose you can choose where you're going to where you're going to put that. Um, but we'll have a look when we get around to doing the um, when we get around to doing the build with this, and you can see sort of where where that can be utilised. Uh, and then you get a, a G1 quarter soft tubing. Uh, sort of barb fitting that looks like, but we'll have a look when we get into it. I'm not sure why that's included to be fair, um, but we'll have a look at that. And then accessories, you get sort of back, back plates for your CPU uh, block. You get an ARGB controller with some sort of tool. Uh, what that is, I don't know, that's probably for tightening up. I assume that's for tightening up your fittings. Um, you get a jumper for your PSU, so you can, you can run the fluid through without starting the system up. Uh, you get ARGB splitter, you get a PWM splitter, uh, you get some thermal paste, and you get uh, looks like two fill, fill bottles in there as well. Um, so basically everything you need is in this kit for you to get started into water cooling. So let's have a look what's inside. Right, so first off, you get your instruction manual. This will help you install everything that you need, and um, so it'll tell you where to put stuff. It'll give you sort of an idea of how to put stuff, how to do the run. Um, obviously, you can be a bit creative with it if you uh, if you know what you're doing kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this tells you how to install everything. So it tells you how to install the brackets of the radiator and the fans and everything like that. So everything you need in there to get you started. So you shouldn't have any problems actually setting this up because all the information should be in there to get started. Right, so obviously you get quite a lot of stuff in here. Um, we'll go through exactly what you get. First of all, this is the CPU block. Um, it's absolutely huge, it looks absolutely amazing, I really like that. Copper plate on the bottom, obviously copper's used in all, most water cooling stuff now. Um, better heat conductivity, and it's got an ARGB cable on there. Um, luckily, it's only one cable on there, so um, you can run that, and it's gonna have ARGB lights inside there, so it's gonna look, look the part for sure. And then you get your back plate um, to attach this to, the, to your motherboard, and 
an RCT CPU socket. Coming over, we've got the fluids. Um, so we've got two bottles of uh, coolant. So you've got a total of a litre of coolant. That should be more than enough, I would have thought, for filling this loop. Um, so that's good. Um, could possibly be enough if you want to add a, a GPU block to it as well. That could be enough to do that as well. It is just uh, clear fluid, so there's no colour in there. So if you want to colour it, you will have to buy a dye. And in here, underneath that, we've got some sort of bracket. I think that's for attaching the pump um, to one of your fans. So you've got that bracket there. So we've got the pump res combo. Um, I believe it's a DDC pump in here. Let's see, it definitely is a DDC pump. It's not a D5 in here. Um, they may do a, a D5 alternative, sort of probably a more expensive kit, I don't know, or they may do one in the future. Um, but this is plenty um, for this, this loop and plenty for most loops to be, fair, to be honest with you. Uh, DDC pump, like I said. Um, not sure of the size of this. I'll put that up on the screen. Uh, 200 maybe, I don't know, something like that. Um, so yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, again, this has got an AIGB connection on it, so it has got lighting in it, um, which is, probably can't see on the camera, but it's in the bottom here, so it will light up your fluid. So you don't technically need, as long as you've got enough AIGB lighting, you don't technically need to dye your color, your uh, fluid, because it will all uh, reflect from the lights. Uh, so you've got that there. You've got a PWM uh, pump, uh, pump cable, which goes straight into your pump header on your motherboard or into a standard fan header if needs be. Um, and it all sleeved, uh, not sleeved, sorry, but it's uh, black cable, not like some of them you may find like yellow cables and blue cables and stuff. This is just black cable, so that's good to see. And um, you've got one outlet on the on the bottom down here, and then you've got you've got uh, two inlets, and you've got sort of a stop there as well. Um, so yeah, so you've got plenty of ports to to use there, depending on which ones you want to use. Um, so that can be your intake back to the, back to the pump. Moving on, we've got we've got a couple of fans. I'm not sure what fans these are. Um, again, if I can find out, I will put that on the screen for you to see. Um, but two standard ARGB Touch Aqua fans, um, 120 mil. Two of those. I won't bother showing you those are just fans. Um, if anything like the ones I reviewed it recently, though, they should look really nice. And you've got your full copper radiator, 240 mil, so two times uh, 120 mil or four if you want to do push pull if your case can support it. Uh, it's bunged up at the end there. Only one in there and one outlet. It's not like some that have them on the end, um, but that's not a problem. And it's your standard 30 mil thickness, um, but that's plenty for cooling most CPUs. And then lastly, in this top layer, you've got your AI Jimmy controller, which is up to eight fans on uh, yeah eight eight ARGB fans on there and the pass through to your motherboard as well and also on the top layer we've got all your fittings and accessories these are your fittings for your CPU block so that's that there all uh, the fittings you need for that and we've got all your fittings here so we've got your valve for uh, drain then we've got your 90 degree rotary uh, I don't know it's rotary yeah, it's rotate, it's just very stiff. We've got a standard barb fitting. Again, I'm not really sure why that's there. We'll see if we need it when we come to use it. Uh, you've got two stop fittings for blanking things off. And then you've got your normal. Let's just get one of these out to see. Then you've got your standard soft tube sort of compression fitting, um, which is all, they're all in chrome. All the fittings are in chrome, so it should fit most. Uh, builds in terms of the theme, so no matter what colour you go with, silver normally fits in most stuff and looks quite nice. Um, so that's good to see. Maybe they could have gone a more sort of neutral colour and gone with black. Uh, I don't know, but to, to, for me, that they, that's a perfect colour choice um, to match most people's builds. Like I said, there's six of those fittings there with everything you need um, to get you started for your water and cooling loop. And then lastly, underneath it all, um, you've got the last few bits. So you've got uh, enough tubing to do your, your runs. Should be enough there anyway. And it's quite a bit. Um, you've got uh, some sort of spouts for filling, I assume. I assume that's some sort of spout to help you fill it. Um, probably off the... Uh, 
coolant bottles you can probably just attach that to them and then you've got your brackets here to go around your pump reservoir and then attach onto the front of your fans using the bracket i showed you earlier and then you've got all your fittings uh, cables splitters and things like that here and you also your tool for tightening up your fittings uh, and your air air escape valve there as well and lastly you get a tiny tube of touch out color bits power thermal compound. So there we have it, that's the Sorbet soft tube kit from Bits Power for AMD. And like I say again, there is an Intel version available. Um, I hope that's give you a sort of an insight as to what you get in this kit and whether you want to buy it or not. Um, so far I can say it's definitely worth buying if you want to get into water cooling and you're not sure what to buy. Everything you need is in here to get you going and you can add to it as well with it being a, uh, with it being a custom loop kit. You can add what you want to it, you can add more blocks to it, some GPUs, M.2s, all that kind of thing. And uh, you'll be you'll be going. So uh, hope that's helped you guys. Um, obviously stick around for the, please don't forget to subscribe to see the build video, which will be coming soon. Obviously I'll give a review of this, how well it performs. Um, and I've also got some other bits power stuff coming soon as well. So uh, please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.